hello guys welcome to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach with you how you can create a login form and php and mysql in previous lecture we have uh, made registration form using php and mysql do you want to learn that you need to go on uh, youtube and then search on the address bar just write my channel name online it tutorials uh, okay once you search this one then you are able to see two videos has have been uploaded on my channel so first thing you need to watch the first one video that will help you to design the HTML uh, I mean a sign up form using HTML and CSS3 after designing the form then you will be able to understand how you can design that right then you need to know how to store the record inside our database right so you must be learn this video I mean must be watch this one video how to registration form in PHP and MySQL once you learn that then you will be able to uh, work on login form right so I will use same thing same project but I will work on login form okay so I'm going to open my uh, project with the name of um, project name is a sign up form and this is the index.php uh, so first thing you need to write the page name where you want to send the user if user will click on already have an account then who will rewrite with this one page so I'm gonna create this one page PHP uh, login PHP right uh, okay this is login.php page right basically I have made this form uh, I mean this page anyone use a click on this link then who will redirect on this page this is a complete same page I just copy and paste here and I just change the input text fields and also I have changed the action where you want to send the request I will create this file on later this time I just want to show you the login form looks like I'm gonna show with you this one okay and I go back I click on already have account uh, okay where is that I need to sell that okay sell that and let's check it now okay this is login.php page and inside that have a two input text fields with the name of username second one is a password I'm gonna change that uh, placeholder this one okay um, username or email okay uh, then the next thing uh, you need to create this one page right so I'm gonna create this one page process2.php so I'm gonna use basic syntax of PHP okay remember that have a one input text field with the name of username okay the name is username and second input text field name is a password right third one is a button right so you need to write if set dollar underscore post this is a post method and when user click on the PTN login button then who will redirect with another page uh, I mean who will uh, able to work on login page so I'm gonna check it working so let's check it now as you can see I am redirected with another page with the name of process2.php and this is a working means we are able to work on this project okay then the next thing you need to get the value from input text field so I'm gonna create a variable unan dollar underscore post and the first one input text field name copy that paste here and pass dollar underscore post and this is a second input text field right once you get the data from input text field you need to write the validation if you want to use that you can do that in my case I use empathy field validation 
empty uh, pass it's the brackets echo you are please fill in the blanks right else statement I'm gonna use query query this is a query I'm gonna use select uh, select static from my table name is a users where I'm gonna check it to the my database name PHP tutorial so let's check it now the columns localhost PHP PHP my admin and I'm gonna search PHP tutorials uh, this one then users okay this is a column name you name and when the user will enter username hl2 u name right then I'm gonna call a result variable call mysql query we need to pass two parameters first one is a connection second one is a your query but we need to also include the connection file on here we need to use the queries right then the next thing you need to write if make a variable row and call mysqli fetch mysqli fetch and pass query variable no result variable right then I'm gonna call db pass this is a my local variable I will get the data like password from database why because the password is encrypted stored inside our database so we need to decrypt the our password and match the password with our input text field so I'm gonna call dollar underscore row I mean dollar row this one variable and use the column name which column name password column name right just a minute I'm gonna use password then we need to check it first I'm gonna use else statement and call it call please check your query this is a out of this uh, if statement uh, if the record will not match then display this one message right now the next thing you need to write if md5 this is a method that will help you to encrypt the password I'm gonna pass password variable inside that and call equal to my db password variable if the password uh, and protect field password and database password will match then I'm gonna redirect with user um, location I'm gonna call header location admin.php I'm gonna redirect with this page otherwise I'm gonna call um, echo statement please password not touched incorrect password right okay so this is a very simple query but we need to create a index.php file I mean admin.php file I'm gonna use uh, echo admin ph php file right okay guys so let's check it now first refer that to check the empty fields uh, working or not please fill in the blank this is our first security now the next one security I'm gonna use admin this is my username I'm gonna enter incorrect password incorrect password I'm gonna enter uh, incorrect email I mean username and correct password and hit enter please check your query right now this is the validation now I'm gonna enter correct username and password then I'm able to see admin page as you can see admin.php and this is the admin PHP file right now the next thing is a very important if user will enter email then who can't 
log in the account so how you can use this one feature guys go to your code editor and go to process.php file and say the select static from users where uname equal to uname then you need to write all keyword and call the email column that have inside our database column I'm going to show with you this one use email column equal to your username if user will enter username or email then match the particular record from the database save that and let's check it now I'm gonna use admin at the rate online attitudes.com 123456 hit enter as you can see and I'm gonna show with you this is the a, a email admin at the rate online attitudes.com and this is the encrypted password so I hope you understood as well how you can use login form in PHP in MySQL. Do you want to learn that designing and registration? So please watch my previous video. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel for getting updates. Have a nice day guys.